Look, man, whatever this nigga talking about, make sure y'all laugh. Listen, he the GOAT. <laughs> Becoming a profitable trader is going to demand that you become the very best version of yourself. In order to become the very best version of yourself, you need discipline. And discipline is simply prioritizing what you're supposed to do over what you want to do at any given moment. It doesn't matter if you feel like doing it or not. Discipline is going to keep you in check in times when you have no motivation. The thing that made me disciplined was realizing that becoming disciplined was the only way to win. Trading without a strict set of rules was not getting me to where I needed to be, so I had to change. I had to create a system that I could follow every single day, and then alongside that, I had to keep learning uh, from my mistakes. I took repeated L's over and over and over again until I finally was able to learn from these mistakes and not repeat them over again. Trading without a strict set of rules was not getting me to the consistent profits that I wanted. I just took repeated L's over again and learned from my losses and kept improving. I realized that I had to change in order to become profitable. In order to become successful in trading, you must learn to become a good loser. Your relationship with trading losses will have a direct impact on your trading career. Your performance would improve drastically if you could just learn with this one thing, and that is the ability to walk away after a losing day after taking an exhausting loss and just simply come back the next day. The best traders are simply the best losers. You have to become a good loser. A common mistake that you may be making currently is that you doubt your skills, you doubt your strategy, you doubt your psychology, your system after a losing day or after you take a bad loss. You have to understand the difference between good losses and bad losses. Was this loss according to your plan? Do you feel good about the loss? Was this was it a good trade, a part of your playbook that simply didn't work out? Did you lose the amount of money that you had planned on losing? Or was this trade something outside of your system? You must make sure you're only taking good losses. Traders will literally take garbage, trash trades that they know that they're not supposed to take and then they'll associate that trade with their skill set or with their strategy. You need to avoid taking bad trades in general so that way it doesn't mess with your confidence and trick your mind into thinking that you're not a good trader. Did you also know that statistically speaking, the more trades you take, the less profitable traders tend to be? We as traders have to stop associating good trading days with winning days because you're just setting yourself up for a disappointment anytime you don't have a green day. Red days aren't necessarily bad, right? Because you could do everything according to your system. You can do everything, follow your risk guidelines, and the day simply might end red because the odds weren't in your favor, but you did everything in your power and you followed your system. So good trading days will come with green days and red days. You cannot automatically consider a red day as a bad day just because you didn't make money. That's not how trading works. The next tip I want to give you is to use the weekend as a time to sharpen your skills. During the weekend, I like to have psychology sessions. I like to go over all the trades that I took for that week. I like to go over all the setups that worked and the setups that didn't work. I want to identify all of the mistakes I made. I want to identify all of the good things I did during that week. And then I simply want to journal and reflect. If you don't have a specific trading routine yet, then I'm going to give you a couple of reasons as to why you need to have one. All elite performers in any type of industry, whether that's sports, whether it's business, anybody who performs at an elite level and who is the very best at what they do have rituals and process in place as like a warm up before they actually have to perform live. They do this to make sure that they perform at their very best. Could you imagine if Steph Curry didn't warm up before a game? He didn't put up a couple hundred three-pointers before he uh, went into the game. 
right? Could you imagine how cold he would be? You do this so you can become more comfortable, so you can heat up, so you, by the time it's time to perform, you're ready and you're and you're comfortable and you're confident. It can be very similar to us as traders. This can also apply to us. I want you to create a pre-market routine. I'm gonna make a video on this soon about the things that I do to prepare me for the upcoming trading day. And so you wanna create a pre-market routine so you can be Steph Curry in the markets and get those sniper entries. I personally aim for about one to two trades a day it's very important that I don't try to chase losses. It's very important that I stick to one to two trades a day. And the reason being is less is more, guys. One to two quality setups a day will take you a long way. It's not your job as a trader to try to become a millionaire overnight or try to grow your account or try to pass your funding challenge overnight guys there's absolutely no rush especially since most funding firms have took away the time limit on these challenges you have no reason to rush take your time look for the best quality setups the next thing i want to touch on is confidence you know you're a confident trader and you know that you're truly confident in yourself the moment that you go into a drawdown period how do you trade when you're in drawdown? I want you to pay attention to that. Self-confidence is not expecting the best, but it's knowing deep down that you can handle the worst. The self-confident trader can look at a losing trade in the face and know that it will, everything will be okay because he knows I have the ability to win the next trade. The self-confident trader can look at a failed funding challenge and know that everything will be okay because he will probably pass the next challenge. Self-confidence is everything, guys. Self-confidence is telling to yourself, it's okay, I've been here and I can handle this. Confidence doesn't come from being right all the time, but it comes from surviving the many occasions when we are wrong. If I'm being completely honest, I truly believe that back, back testing is overrated. I've gained all my market insight and market experience from journaling my trades and forward testing. I don't often back test really at all because I'm just more of a hands-on type of person. Now I'm not saying back testing can't be beneficial at all, it can, but I truly believe that you'll get the best experience of the market from forward testing and learning from your losing trades. This is how you're gonna be able to build muscle memory of your live setups. This is how you're gonna be able to spot your best trading setups by doing it in the live market. You guys need to understand that you are the edge. You as in the trader. If the edge was in the strategy, every single person who traded that same strategy, wherever you learned it from, whether you created it, whether you copied someone else's strategy, if the strategy was the edge, then then every single person trading that strategy would be profitable and would make money consistently but that's not the case you are the edge as the trader your edge is your mental state your edge is your psychology your edge is your intuition your edge is knowing your system inside out so thank you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe um, I'm sorry for not uploading in uh, over a week. I had a lot of personal things going on. But uh, if you guys learn something new, please drop it in the comments. Show me support. It motivates me to make more videos. Peace. Seven six two, man, we blasting his whip. Whole lot of blood had to down me a crib. He said he can't breathe because he tagging his ribs. Caught him outside. With